What is up, everybody? I'm Jared, and I will be going over my core four MLB picks for prize picks today. If you're new here, make sure to hit like and subscribe. That way, you know, that way we know that you're following along. Also helps you to get notified when these shows are posted. We do them just about every single day. Also, if you're not currently playing on prize picks and you wanted to give it a try, if you sign up there using promo code WINDAILY, that will get you 100% deposit match up to $100. We'll also go ahead and throw in a free 60-day trial period of Win Daily Gold. It's about $100 value. Get you access to all of our daily articles and get you access to our Discord where we're constantly talking about prize picks and DFS. So go ahead and sign up there today using promo code Win Daily. So if we do a recap of yesterday, we had a strong day. We went three and one. The only pick that we missed on was Eric Hosmer. Uh, the, the Oakland game, uh, they didn't score in the first inning. They did end up, prize picks did end up pulling that one. So we pivoted to Blackman and his one and a half total bases. He ended up getting a double, uh, but Flores homered, Cody Bellinger, or Flores homered, Cody Bellinger homered also. So those guys just uh, crushed their number. So overall, strong day, three and one. We'll look to go four and zero today. Let's go ahead, jump in. Um, so I am going to be focused a lot on the earlier games. Uh, there is one late game that I do like uh, and a prop there. But the first one that we are going to be going with is we're going to go with Trey Turner and his one and a half total bases. We can actually loop in uh, Mookie Betts because we're going to go with him too. So Mookie and uh, Trey Turner with their one and a half total base numbers. Uh, both of them just get a glorious matchup today against Patrick Corbin. Um, I don't think Corbin is a very good pitcher. The Nationals don't think he's a very good pitcher because they're trying to unload uh, the $60 million that he's going to be owed over the next couple of years in any trade for Juan Soto. Uh, but he's given up 14 earned runs in his last 16 innings of work. Um, he's just been abysmal. Uh, if we focus on really Trey Turner, Trey Turner's just having a monster season. Uh, he has been absolutely smashing lefties all year. He has a 956 OPS versus them and a 583 slugging percentage versus them. One of the reasons why I'm, I'm really focused on this pick today is it has to do with pitch selection. Patrick Corbin throws his sinker about 45% of the time to righties. Uh, this is a pitch that Trey Turner absolutely destroys. He's got a 480 ISO against this over the last several seasons. He also has a 480 Woba against this pitch over the last several seasons. So I'm going to be locking in Trey Turner in both DFS and prize picks today. He's one of my favorite plays of the day out of any hitter on the board. Uh, so we're going to go with the over on his one and a half total base number. The next one also, like I said, we're going to go with Mookie Betts as well. We're going to go with the over on his one and a half total bases. Gets the same matchup as Patrick Corbin. Uh, in 2022, Betts has been absolutely dominant against lefties. He's got a 982 OPS against them this season. That's tops of any Dodger. Uh, he also has a 598 slugging percentage against lefties this season. That, too, is the top number of any regular on the Dodgers team. Over the last 30 days, Betts also has a 551 Woba against Southpaws. Just a great matchup for him. Great spot for him and Turner. I also would go uh, Will Smith is a great, great guy also to be using today. I think he has a one and a half total base prop too. If you want to go that direction, wouldn't argue with you at all. Um, but on both of these guys, we're going to go with the over on their one and a half total base number. The next one that we are going to go with is going to be <coughs> Randy Arizarena and his hitter fantasy score. Uh, he's got a pretty attainable hitter fantasy score tonight of six and a half. Um, that's an absolute wheelhouse for him. Uh, let's go ahead and pull him up. He's in there somewhere. I might have to type his name in. Um, but uh, there we go. Six and a half hitter fantasy score. He gets a nice matchup against Tyler Wells tonight of the Orioles. Uh, Wells is a reverse splits pitcher. Uh, he really struggles against righties. Righties have a 446 slugging percentage versus him this year. It's about 120 points higher than what he has against lefties. So when you face Wells, you really want to target him with righties. Um, A-Roz has been really strong against righties this year. He's got a 757 OPS. Uh, what really has me loving this prop, though, is Arizarena is really somebody that just can get you fantasy points in a myriad of different ways. He can steal a base. He can drive in a run. He can score a run. Um, on the air, he's, he scored 42 times. He's driven in 45. He's also stolen 20 bases. So all we need out of him today is either a walk and a hit and a stolen base. That is absolutely attainable for him. He gets that more often than he, than not. Uh, our model currently has him at nine. So there's a lot of value in that hitter fantasy score. We're going to go with the over on this six and a half hitter fantasy score. The final one that we are going to go with is going to be, we're going to go back to the total bases and we're going to go with J Ram, Jose Ramirez. 
and his one and a half total bases. Let's go ahead and pull that bad boy up. He is right there. Ramirez and the Guardians get a really nice matchup against Nady Evaldi tonight. Um, I mean, unless you've been living under a rock, you know that the Toronto Blue Jays absolutely destroyed him the other night. Uh, he gave up nine earned runs, um, and I think it was two and two thirds inning. Now, a lot of those, a lot of those earned runs were fluky. Uh, Tapia hit a inside the park grand slam because Duran completely missed the ball. Um, but again, he's he's just been getting shelled. Again, in that game, he gave up a 54% hard hit rate to the Blue Jays. Even the game before, he gave up a 50% hard hit rate. So although some of some of the Niner runs were the doing of the defense, uh, he still isn't pitching overly well. Um, since since coming back from the injury list, again, he's had those two bad outings, one against the Blue Jays. I think the one before that was against the Yankees. I expect him to have a third poor outing tonight coming back from the injured list. Um, I just love using Ramirez when he's when he's hitting from the left side. That's where he gets a lot of his power. 16 of his 19 bombs this year have been as a lefty. Um, he has a significantly higher slugging percentage as a lefty, higher average. Just about every single metric is significantly higher when he's hitting as, as a lefty. So we're going to go with this over. At, we're going to go on the over on the one and a half total base number for Ramirez. Love to see him in a homer tonight. So if we do a recap of our core four tonight, we're going to go with the over on the one and a half total bases for trade. Yeah, absolutely love the race tonight against Tyler Wells. Uh, I would also use some Orioles against uh, Rasmussen. Uh, and then also we're going to go with the over on the one and a half total bases for Jose Ramirez. So that's our core for today. If you end up using them, make sure to hit like and subscribe. And that way we know that you're following along. Also, if you have any questions about your own picks, uh, just make sure to drop some notes in the comments. Happy to answer any questions that you have. That said, we went three and one yesterday. Let's go four and zero today. Good luck, everyone.